Oh, oh, hey, everybody, I'm back with part 14, Tesseract Labyrinths. Are you ready? Not all weapons the Grey Knights use to defeat demons are human in origin. Over millennia of war and strife, the chapter has scoured the galaxy for secrets to use against the Dark Gods. Some of them deriving from alien technology and ancient Xenos empires. That sounds like Necrons. <clears throat> Humanity is not the only race to have suffered at the hands of demonkind. Countless races and worlds were wiped from history by demonic incursions long before mankind even stepped out into the void. In the dead remains of alien cities or dust-swept plains of remote planets, the Ordo Malleus has recovered many artifacts that now rest in the vaults on Titan. Equally remote... I'm sorry... That makes no sense. Equally, elements of the Inquisition have even made deals with living Xenos races, trading technology and aid in return for their knowledge of the warp and its inhabitants. So they do... Oh, I see what they're saying. Equally, equally, equally. <laughs> so there are as many Ordo Malleus Inquisitors actively trading with Xenos races for uh, anti-demon technology as there are inquisitors scouring archaeological sites um, for weapons against demon kind. That's 50-50. So basically... I'm thinking Ordo Malleus and Ordo Xenos don't like each other. Because if this is true, then Ordo Malleus' entire modus operandi goes against every philosophy of Ordo Xenos, whose sole function is to stop Xenos technology and influence from contaminating uh, humankind, uh, they go out and their entire purpose is to find that technology and, and, and incorporate it into their methods. Wow, that must be, that must be, uh, that must be difficult uh, uh, having, having a, you know, get together between those two groups. <clears throat> One such temporary alliance has yielded the Tesseract Labyrinths. Strange objects crafted with heretical science by cunning alien hands. Each one is a cube, roughly the size of an Astartes fist, covered in a precise geometric web of circuitry. The Tesseract Labyrinths possess the ability not only to trap warp creatures, but also to contain them within the esoteric energy fields of its zero-point reactor. The power of the demon is then contained by its own essence. The more it fights against the Tesseract, the stronger the bonds of its prison become. But that, that, that has a lot of implications. First thought, this is an homage to Hellraiser. And that a Tesseract looks very much like Pinhead's puzzle box from their description. Yeah, obviously. I mean, that's what they're talking about. If that's not what they're talking about, then I don't believe in coincidences. So that is what they're talking about. Zero point reactor. Mm -hmm. So, they're saying that it is powered by a zero-point reactor, but it's also powered by the demon's own 
essence. So maybe they meant that or maybe they didn't. I don't know. For those of you who don't know, zero point energy is a type of energy that is supposed to come from space itself. Imagine that space, emptiness, space is a thing. Oh, I know how to think of it. You like Star Trek? Fluidic space. You remember the whole dimension that they went into? The whole thing was fluid. and But the only way to know that it is fluid is if somebody comes in from another universe. They could sit there and say, wow, I'm wet. What the fuck? Uh, but everybody in fluidic space would never actually know that they're in fluid. It would just be space. Zero point energy is based upon that idea. Space is a thing and that you could actually use space itself and turn it into an energy form. Typically, I think they were talking about hyper-sonoluminescence. Uh, you, you have super strong frequencies that you're actually able to get these little flashes of light uh, just from using certain sound waves. Uh, never mind. That's what they're saying. Let's go on. However, luring a demon into a tesseract labyrinth is no easy task. As most warp creatures will choose to abandon their mortal forms and return to the immaterium before they can be bound into the alien devices. To date, less than five of inhabited tesseracts are held in the vaults of Titan. Each one the culmination of a great battle or epic campaign in which the Grey Knights were triumphant. Less than five in 10,000 years, and each one was an entire campaign. And those demons are now, they're not banished. They're just gone. If you play Magic the Gathering, it's remove the card from the game. Don't put it in your graveyard. It's gone. It's just gone. Here's the little fluff. The demon has many forms. You must know them all. You must tell the demon from his disguise and root him out from the hidden places. Trust no one. Trust not even yourself. It is better to die in vain than to live in abomination. The zealous martyr is praised for his valor. The craven and the unready are justly abhorred. Excerpted from the first book of indoctrinizations. There you go. That gives you a little idea if you want to know what it would be like to be trained as an inquisitor. In the next video, we're going to start talking about what is the Aegis that these great knights have. I will see you then. Bye.